Hey Freedom Fighters, how's it going? This is Kala here at Students for Our Free Tibet International Headquarters bringing you episode 5 of SFT TV, your source for news, information, and updates from SFT HQ. Log on, tune in, and rise up here at SFT TV. Uh, we'd like to bring you a special... Oh, it's Nathan. Hey, Nathan. Want to come on in? And show yourself. <laughs> Who are you, sir? No, no, no. Just stay out of this. You're a secret ninja. Oh. We have to keep that. Okay. <laughs> so, nowhere to go. Okay, so, um, special report from our very own Legend Datong. Ooh, I sound so... Hi. Um, hi everybody. So, I am here to talk about a pretty serious issue that you mostly will all know about. Um, we were on our way up to the Tibet camp in upstate New York, which was amazing and wonderful. Um, and we learned that Runge Ada, the Tibetan nomad in, from Litang in eastern Tibet, who had been detained for uh, speaking out at the Litang horse racing festival on the stage, um, where he called for the return of the Dalai Lama and the freedom of the pension Lama, uh, he has been charged now, formally, uh, is the reports we're hearing from, from a source in Hong Kong, um, with uh, subverting state security, essentially. And so this is not good. They've basically taken uh, his actions, which were a simple, peaceful uh, expression of his beliefs, and which should be, if China says there's human rights in China and Tibet, should be no problem. Uh, they've taken his actions and made them uh, something, you know, very, well, very serious and very, the charges that, have co that are against him um, are ones that could land him in a lot of trouble and with serious sentence. Um, and so we have an opportunity right now, and, and there was an action alert that went out the other day, we have an opportunity to try and protect him by really getting on the phone, writing letters, immediately contacting not only the Chinese authorities, but also um, our representatives, government representatives, um, to, and you know, our political leaders, to say that this has happened in Tibet for this simple act, uh, this amazing community. I gather he is, you know, beloved by the community, well respected. Um, he's the father of 11 children. Uh, this man is being persecuted for his beliefs, and in this case, you know, it, he was calling for the return of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, an internationally respected uh, figure and leader. Um, and the, the Chinese would now charge him with trying to subvert state security really says um, how there are, there's no freedom there. And um, any political leader, any media person, anyone, general public, I think would get it that this is ridiculous and that it's unfair, it's unjust. And um, China, you know, the Chinese leaders should let him go. They should treat him well and they should let him go because by doing this and by targeting him now and his family for a crackdown, also his, his nephew, a monk from Litang Monastery, uh, by going after them in the way that they appear to be, they're just going to show the world that they don't deserve the honor of hosting Olympic Games. They're just going to further in people's minds uh, the idea that the Chinese government is, you know, well, first of all, crazy, um, insecure, uh, not worthy of sitting at the table with the leading nations of the world um, and being accepted as a as a leader among nations. Um, so we hope everyone will get on it, help. This is an opportunity right now, right away, to react and to create a strong response that shines a spotlight inside Tibet on, uh, onto Runge Adak's case in Litang and to protect him or to try and um, try and protect him and his family and the community there by um, by showing them that the whole world is watching. So we know you guys will get right on it. We're on it too and there'll be lots more actions and whatnot coming out. And if you're not on the SFT Action Network, let's sign up. You can go to the homepage of our website, studentsforfreetibet.org. Okay, take care. Thanks, Kala. Thank you very much, Ladin La. Um, once again, thank you for tuning in to SFT TV. Uh, you can look at um, our other um, videos at youtube.com slash 
SFTTV or please log on to our blog at blog.studentsforafreetibet.org. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, please remember to watch tomorrow's uh, episode of SFT TV. We'll be showing you clips from our wonderful little getaway at Tibetan Camp in upstate New York with some of the brightest and cutest Tibetan kids um, uh, this side of Tibet. So, um, see y'all later, and thanks for tuning in. Peace and mumble grease.